First, what did you like best about this book? The part when when the two the boy and the girl got in fights telling about whose st sock is sticky, then he told her that her underpants is sticky. <laughs> but was that in this one? No. Oh no, that's in which other one? That's Goonie Bird Green and the Room Mother. So you read Goonie Bird Green and the Room Mother. You read Goonie Bird Green. You read Goonie Bird Green is fabulous. And this one. Okay, good. Okay, Jasmine, what about you? What did you like best about this one? I like this book because. Just leave it on the desk. Thank you, guys. I do. We don't know what to put on your That's perfect. Thank you. I like about this book because it's like a girl named Goonie Bird. She's all like, she dresses up all funny and stuff. Okay. You like about that? I like Goody Bird Green because she's in second grade and she dresses funny and she always, and she always, and sometimes in the book that I'm reading right now, Goody Bird Green was fabulous. She got to be the teacher for fables. And do they also do poetry in there? It's fables? It's fables, but this guy named Tyrone in there, he's a student, he did a rap for it. Okay. Well, I liked, what I liked the best about this, this no, book for me is that it felt, it did feel like school, and it felt like these kids had a very cool teacher who could, because sometimes when you've got a kid who's very unusual, like Goonie Bird Green, and she clearly likes to be, as she said, right? What is she? Why did she want to sit in the center of the room? Because she likes to be right smack in the middle of everything. Of everything, right? She <laughs> likes to be in the smack center in of everything. The middle. That was well said. And I've had students like this before, but I thought that teacher was very cool. What did you notice about the teacher? How did the teacher change as the book went on? Did you notice some things? I, I thought it was very cool how the author did that. What did you notice, Marley? I noticed that she changed. Sometimes she has to put her calm down hand on the shelf. On people's shoulders, like Malcolm and my book. Got it. Okay. And then she has the quiet finger and all kinds of signals. Okay, and that was teacher stuff. But did you notice how she changed in the beginning? Was she sure that these were true stories? What did she think in the beginning? She thought they were, were true stories. Yeah, that they were made up, right? But as she looked this, this, who was the one asking for more stories by the end of the book? Well, and, but even before that, the teacher. Did you notice that? The teacher wanted, became like part of the audience. The kids were all paying attention to Goonie Bird. I also noticed she, that the author had the teacher sort of change the way she dressed. Did you notice she dressed up a little bit better? Like, and Goonie Bird got some of the kids doing that. Um, that. Have you ever been in a classroom that's had a kid like Goonie Bird Green? Okay. And how so? They just funny like her and they said funny words. Okay. Like words like that are made up and they say things that are weird. Okay. How about you, Faith? This, this girl that had the new kindergarten, she would wear like these red and goofy outfits. Like she would wear um, like a big tutu sometimes and then she would wear a red top with a yellow tutu. Okay. We used to have kids here at this school, boys, who wore short shorts and cowboy boots. Oh my God! A lot, and it was the and they just they didn't care. Nobody could well, make well, fun well, of them. Was it, was it just, Gilbert? Well, they were just, Gilbert? No, it wasn't Gilbert. Oh. It was some some <laughs> was. An, another family. Um, the one of the things that I really liked about this book, at the end, what did Goonie Bird convince the kids about? Do you remember? What did she, by the end of the book, where are the next stories going to be coming from? Goody Bird. The teacher. Or? Goody. Did you notice? What? What did she tell the kids? Stories. Remember this part right here? Right, but what did she say? That was, that was one of my favorite parts right here, why I love this, this school. You mean the book? And this class. Mm. Because, is it the very last chapter? Maybe it is. Like she says here, out there invisible are a lot of stories not yet told. And she could be the teacher saying that. Absolutely true ones? Yes, absolutely true ones. What are they? 
Do you remember that my first story was called How Goonie Bird Got Her Name? Yes. Well, another one is called How Beanie Got Her Name. That's probably uh, How Faith Got Her Name. How Jasmine Got Her Name. How Marley Got Her Name. Oh, do you know, I know, how, I know, do you know I know. how you got your name? 